Welcome, welcome Taurus, soulmate. I am Key and this is our doorway. As we walk through the doorway towards the Akashi Records Library, this is for sun, moon, and rising sign. So, let's see what's in store for Taurus and soulmate for February 2019. Mother, Father, what present and now does want to come out for masculine, feminine, soulmate, Taurus? take place emotionally, energetically for Taurus and soulmate for February So, Taurus, soulmate, your past life. Wow, makes sense. You have learned how to lead or how to be a, a teacher by tapping into the lessons you have learned in your life and how those lessons have given you the leverage, the longevity to lead and how blessings have given you that bond that you needed to see the beauty in it. Lessons give us leadership, blessings give us benevolence. And that's something that is very sacred to you, Taurus, soulmate. The lessons that you have learned lead you into, wow, in your present, you are the matriarch in your world. People come to you as a matriarch, as a mother figure. Even if you have masculine or if you, by physical appearance, is masculine, does not mean you do not have feminine energy in you, do, that you do not have the mothering quality. You actually do. In order for us to be a human being, we had to come from a mother and a father. We had to get both the sperm and the egg. So to say that we don't know how to strategize or be nurturing, that's not true. You're now seeing that being a matriarch is a map to the world. It shows us how mothering, nurturing, and caring for others shows that being nurturing, caring, and loving to ourselves emulates that as well. The lessons and blessings is to be that matriarch for ourselves as individuals. The more we nurture ourselves, the more we cater to ourselves, the more we love ourselves and nurture ourselves. And nurture means physically nurture. Get your feet done, hair done. Um, even if you don't have the finances, doing it at home. Pampering yourself at home. Finding, um, using Groupon. 
things that you know makes you feel nurturing and pampered will exude outside of you. That in your now. Ah, it will give you that food and nourishment that you truly need. Your food and hunger comes from being a mother figure, being mothering. You got to mother ourselves. I'm a female and I'm learning right now. Like literally right now, how to mother myself. I am a mother. I mother other people in my life. But to actually say I mother myself, I have never done. So that is the food that I've been looking for and the nourishment that I needed. And that's what you're realizing, soulmate, Taurus, masculine, feminine. That being a matriarch in your world, being that mother figure for you will replace that malnutrition or the malnourishment. Hmm. We got to take care of ourselves. We got to take care of ourselves physically, mentally, emotionally, connecting to source again. And twining in the her and he aspect. He and her. Love the he and you, Taurus, and love the her and you, Taurus. I'll be discussing about that later. So let's see, Taurus, so me, how is that manifesting in our world, emotionally, energetically in February, the first week? Eight, 10, okay, we going up, eight, 10. Wow, okay. If you ever get a chance, look at the universe class reading, Taurus. We have um, similar things in there. So, first week of February, Taurus, soulmate, you're starting your foundation. You know that you are the source in which you want to start. The source inside of you, that God inside of you. We are God in his image. We are God in her image. We are God in their image. Any Bible or text that you have ever read or ever heard of said the very things that are coming out of my mouth. And if that's the case, then if we're God in human form as a representation of God outside of us, then that means anything that we make in our foundation will manifest like how God did for us in making the clay that he made out of us into real form. We were once still life. Imagine that, going to a museum. Have you ever seen a still life sculpture? It looks so real, doesn't it? That they had to sculpt someone that is real, that is human. Now, can that still life literally walk? No, doesn't mean that it hasn't before. We are that representation. So, the first week, Taurus, you're becoming that starter of your foundation. So, events may move at a fast pace. Like when we want to, when we start our engine, right? Are we the only ones that are starting our engine? No, it's others that are in the race too. And you're seeing that delays are over because now you know, Taurus, what you want to start and what areas in which you want to be more determined in, have more drive in, and dedication to. So that way, your energy is not all over the place. It is inside the Trinity, so that way it, it moves exactly how you want to move. Remember, your lessons and the blessings is knowing how to be more centered when things around us feel scattered. So in the first week, if many things are happening at once, 
You're figuring out how to minimize that and how to really take that step in starting. You have the source in you and you know exactly what you want to start in your foundation. You have water mixed with fire. So you're very tempered. You're evenly tempered, okay? That by the middle of the first week, Taurus soulmate, you're becoming the boss of your atmosphere. The end of a difficult situation, embrace the change. You have started the change. Now, like any matriarch, nurturing what you have changed. Catering to what you have changed. Cultivating what you have changed in your atmosphere is the very thing that will give you that expectation for things to go in a better way now. So if you're recovering, recovering from an addiction, an addiction can be anything. It's something that we add into our lives without realizing that we're adding it. It, it just feels like it's a part of our atmosphere. But when we really look at what, as a boss, what we have been building, that add-on we're realizing isn't needed for this particular buildup or a particular development in our atmosphere. So whether that means, a lot of times people think um, drugs is the most common. Drugs, yeah, cigarettes, smoking, that's typical alcohol because we're surrounded by it. This is the thing that always discern me. To have an addiction, that means that it's added in your atmosphere. It's not like you went out there and created yourself. It's surrounded by you. So when you're realizing, oh, it's surrounded by me, how can I not replace it but see it as something I could just put on a shelf for a minute? Like, it's something I don't really need. Like, I can eat candy, right? But will candy really help me right now? Maybe not. Now, if I was a diabetic, it could. Maybe I'm low on sugar. That's an addiction is candy. But feeling, figuring out how to use it in, in a more incentive way or seeing that any addiction, whether that be food, drugs, these things we add on to our world. But it's to fill in something that we want to avoid. So addictions are hard because we're thinking, oh, we got to do cold turkey. Oh, I can't drink. I can't smoke nothing. Else no one's going to take me seriously. Well, I've seen a lot of successful people smoke and I've seen a lot of successful people drink. Now, maybe they know how to moderate that. Maybe they're, maybe we don't know that after they finish smoking a cigarette, they go and brush their teeth, um, floss and go, and, and goggle Listerine or make home remedy paste to put in their mouth so that their teeth won't fall out if they're smoking. It's like you are seeing that addition is an add-on. And like any add-on, you can also subtract it too or minimize it. The lesson and the blessing is addictions or addictions doesn't make you an addict. If I took somebody clothes right now and told them, go on outside, I bet they would want to find some clothes. But on the outside world, they look like an addict, right? That's the outside appearance. The matriarch on the inside knows better. So... Any addictions that you're facing, know that you're becoming a boss in your atmosphere on changing that concept. Even if that means one step at a time. Minimizing how you uh, use your addictions to the point where it's, you're not even doing it anymore. This is something I'm learning too. So... I will be walking with you guys, not just in the universe class, but after class on that step. End of the week, first week, by you 
stepping into the boss of your atmosphere by you seeing how you can become that builder by the third by the third by the end of the the first week let me say that you're tapping into the queen of air you're becoming the queen of your atmosphere not only are you the boss now you are the queen of your atmosphere you're becoming what more independent, more experienced, using your life, your lessons and your blessings as experienced. You're becoming more realistic in how you want to be relevant in your world. And you're using your wit. So, you're becoming very objective decision making in your decision making. You're clearing away all that no longer serves you. Mm -hmm. And you're seeing the humor in a situation. Oh, yeah. 